friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Your Wicked Chef here with another delicious recipes straight from the Caribbean. You're going to love this one. Today we're doing a spicy, crispy, fried, dry sardines. And I've got all my herbs and spices and everything else here waiting to create that marinade to make it all nice and juicy and tasty. If it's your first time here watching me on YouTube, below, click subscribe. All the latest videos are going to be sent to you. And if ever you're looking for more recipes, check out CaribbeanPod.com. So let's get cooking up these beautiful mm, fried sardines. For the marinade, I'm going to be using my magic bullet. If you got a food processor, that's cool. If you don't have any of those, you can simply chop up these ingredients very finely and you'll be good to go. So in my container here, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've got here a couple pieces of scotch bonnet pepper. Remember when you're handling these peppers to wash your hands with soap and water after. You don't want to be touching. Well, let me get into that. Wash your hand with soap and water. Boom. Two pieces of that. One clove of garlic. One shallot. Well, I mean to say it looks like two small pieces, but one shallot. I've got here uh, maybe about three small sprigs, four small sprigs of thyme in there. Two scallions. I'm just going to give that a rough chop just to help it break down a little faster in the food processor. So that's going to go in there. I've got me some parsley. That's about two tablespoons of parsley stems and everything is going to go in there. Some fresh ground black pepper, about a quarter teaspoon of that. And if you're unclear about any of the ingredients going into this dish, in the description below of the video, I will go through that with you guys. We'll have all the ingredients listed. Shadow Benny, Bandania, you may know it as Culantro. If I've got here a couple stems of these, well, more like four leaves of these. Just gonna give that a rip. No need to cut it up all fancy. That's gonna go in there as well. If you can't get culantro or shadow benny or bandania, as I said, it's called a couple table, maybe about three tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro will work great. And the final thing to go into this marinade, we need some liquid in there. So the juice of half a lemon, I'm gonna squeeze it in there. This is going to be a chunky marinade. I like it nice and chunky because I'm going to fill the cavity of the uh, sardines with as much of it as I can. If you want this more pureed, you can certainly do that. You may need to add a little bit more liquid. But all I'm going to do is buzz that down. You're going to have to keep shaking it up because remember, we're not playing with a lot of liquid in here until you got a nice chunky. I'll show you guys. I've put the sardines now and I've got one pound of sardines here um, that I clean and I wash with the juice of half a lemon. Drain it dry and in goes that lovely marinade. Notice how nice and chunky it is in there. We're just going to dump all of that in there. Some of it was left back here, you know. Waste not, want not. And all we're going to do now is toss that in there and allow that to marinate for about one to two hours in the refrigerator. I've got a wide frying pan here with about a cup, a cup and a half of vegetable oil heating on a medium high heat. Shallow because we're going to be shallow frying these. No sense in wasting a lot of oil to deep fry these. Over here on my plate, I've got about three quarter cups of all purpose flour and I'm hitting it with a half a teaspoon of curry powder. I'm just going to work that in there. We've got those sardines all seasoned up and marinating now so they're good to go. All we're going to do, fish them out of there, fish them out of the uh, the bowl here with the seasoning on it. Don't try to knock it off. That's going to be nice when you bite into that stuff. Boom, boom, boom in here into the hot oil and you will need some paper towels on a plate or something to soak up the extra oil once we're done frying them. Just gonna grab one of these sardines, roll them in the flour, knock off the extra flour, and that's gonna go into the deep fryer. It's that simple. I'm into the hot oil. Just roll them in there, knock off the extra flour, and you're good to go. No fuss, no muss. 
so easy it was. Remember, we have that curry powder in it. That's going to add another dimension of flavor in this thing. And if you notice, some of them have got all that nice green seasoning all up inside that cavity there. Boy, oh boy, I'm telling you, fried, dry, and crispy. You're going to love these bad boys. One little thing, though. If you're not accustomed to frying fish in your house, be prepared for that fry fish smell. Open your windows, light the candle, turn on the fan over your stove, or your kids are going to be complaining, What's that smell, Dad? Yeah. Trust me on that. My oil is nice and hot now. So in goes the sardines. Remember to shake off the extra flour of them. And try not to overcrowd the pan because what will happen is it will change the overall temperature of the oil and you won't achieve that nice crispy sort of something we're looking for. After about four minutes on that medium high heat, the hot oil is nice and Getting these bad boys golden and crispy on the outside. I'm hoping the light permits you guys to see that in the uh, video clip here. Look how nice and beautiful golden color they're going. They're getting nice and crispy on the outside. And we've sealed in all that lovely marinade under the flour here. Three more minutes on this side. You want it nice and crispy. Fish them out onto paper towels and continue frying until they're all done. I've got the last batch all done here so I'm just going to shake them off. And this is what I was talking about, paper towel line basket I have here in my colander. So all I'm going to do, shake those off, put them in here to drain off. And that's it. That's <laughs> so simple. And uh, trust me, it's going to be so tasty. I'm going to turn this heat off. I'll show you how I usually dish this up. As far as serving these, these can be a side dish or a snack or a, if you're bold enough to go as an hors d'oeuvre, do your thing. Remember though, kids, you got to be careful. There are bones in these fish here. Adults, same thing. Be careful. Don't be contacting me telling me, Chris, you make a man choke on some bone. Listen, the only thing you need for here... Look at that, some nice homemade pepper sauce, and you're good to go. Dip, dip, crunch away, nice, crunchy, zesty. You're gonna love these sardines, and you see a boy reverse he had gangsta. This, I'm gonna enjoy it now. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Remember to check out CaribbeanPod.com for this recipe, the hot sauce, the pepper sauce recipe, and over 300 other Caribbean related recipes. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Gangsta Chris is going in now. Hello.